Hi everyone. This is Vangelis. I wanted to share a few things with you. I got some cool stuff in the mail and uh, I also wanted to try to ask one of those weird ask a question of everyone and have them do video responses because that fosters a sense of community. I got a pink envelope in the mail and I think I know who sent it, but I should just play along, seeing how this is addressed to uh, 8RQXW7 postal code, which is not my postal code, and it has this mysterious image on the back. I wonder who sent this. Apparently it was sent by a Dr. Randall Welks of 1412 Pinkler Road, 183 Ohio, Alabama, in America. Familiar looking face there. Some simple margin lined paper inside. Uh, a small shape appears on the horizon. I steady my breathing and raise my rifle. I fix him smoothly in my crosshairs. A gentle squeeze of the trigger. He drops like a sack of onions. Just another day for a man. Just another day for me. Just another defeat. For I'm not finishing this. Because this is a load of crap. And I know what this is about now. Let's get this open. This is the start of something big, ladies and gentlemen. There's a nemesis of mine that I thought was long dead. Seeing how, on an oil tanker, we had our final bout. I was up in the crow's nest, and I saw this running, meek little shape off in the distance. I took my sniper rifle and... I remember that day. Looked down the scope. Just like that. His head exploded like a melon. Our fight was over then, so I thought. But it seems that it is going to begin again. Ah, yes. You're gonna lose, boy! On a less adversarial note, I also got one of these. Now I can do all kinds of application reviews. I... uh-oh. I'm calling someone. Uh... I know how to use the phone! Did you know that this phone, look at, check this out, if I push this button, look at that, this application displays the weather, isn't that cool? I also received something from a very kind Australian man who goes by Odeon, at least I think he's from Australia, that's where the package came from. What he created was a custom figure, and I thought it was really cool when I saw it, and after I said that in the thread on TFW 2005, although Odeon does have his own site, odeon.com, I received a PM asking me where he could send the second one. So I gave him my address, and the second one arrived. What was it? I think this warrants a slightly more thorough bit of footage. AWESOME! Well, that was November 10th, and now it's December 18th. But, you know, I had to go all the way across the room and, like, turn on a light, so that did take me over a month. But, hey, this is what Odeon sent my way. This is Animated Personality Evangelist. He's a cute little dude. He's hand-painted, I believe hand-sculpted. No butt crack, but he is uh, apparently low-riding on the back there. And you'll notice he kind of wobbles a little bit. He actually stands quite straight, but uh, for now I've stuck tape into the hole on the bottom of his shoes, because uh, every time you'd do this, he'd leak out a little bit of powdered uh, white material, whatever this is. I'm not sure what this was sculpted in, I, I can't quite remember if this was resin or Sculpey or something like that, but I think it's kind of cool. I mean, like, you might go like, oh, you know, it looks a little bit rough around the edges, but bearing in mind that this was one of two, uh, I think it's pretty neat. That and, like, it's it looks like me. So I, I have extremely clear biases about this kind of thing. Uh, as I said, if you want to see that more of this guy's work, go to Odeon.com or talk to Odeon over on TFW2005. Because uh, he did capture the uh, the mug of this little dude pretty well. And I'm, I'm still very touched that he decided to send it my way. Uh, for the sake of size comparison, and in fact, for the sake of topical size comparison, here he is with some other stunted little mutants that are related to Transformers in a way. There's a little mutant bumblebee and a little mutant bone crusher. So these little guys sort of form their own little mariachi band and sing songs about love lost and tales gained. 
Uh, here, I'll, I'll make things a bit more topical for you. The, that was that was kind of silly. So here he is with uh, an expensive SH figure art. Um, so he's kind of short, but he's got a neat look going on with him. And I guess for the most topical size comparison, here he is with uh, this yellow dude. So, Odeon, thank you very much. I'm sorry I took like 500 years to do this video, but it's a really cool little guy, and I can't imagine how much it's it cost you to send from Australia, so I am very grateful, sir, and send you a big, powerful, crushing man hug from here. Take a look at it. Here it comes. Oh! Since it's been a while since the first part of this vlog, I guess you could say it was more of a v-lag. <laughs> or I guess you could say it was a bit of a, a time-lagged vlog, or a, <laughs> a time-log. Hey! A time log. I. <sighs> While I'm here, I got something from Gary Optimus Scourge, and I thought I'd open it for you because that's what people like to see sometimes. It's worth noting that this box was addressed to Chris the Body Ho, and the last person to do that, and I believe who inspired this, was Gog Dog, who addressed such a box to me containing the cutest Destro some time ago. But screw the details! Let's knife some cardboard! Ah! I gotta listen to Papa Rimfire. Gotta listen to Papa Rimfire. Check it out, the box has got sticky innards. <laughs> okay, Gary shops at Target. Nice to know. And he also shops at Toys R Us. Nice to know. And he also shops at Babies R Us. Nice to know. And he shops at... What the... What is this? Save on Gas. Nice to know. And he shops at... Save on gas! Nice to know. Oh, hey, there's toys in here too. Bubble wrap, lol, we've said it all before, we know the joke. Did you know that up until now I've never had the Fallen? It's true. Gary threw in a stick from a DC superheroes dude. Looks like this. Basically, Gary heard me on the podcast that I do called WTF at TFW talk about how I almost bought the Gathering at the Nemesis set because I don't have a Fallen yet and 65 bucks for two Voyagers and a Deluxe is actually not that bad in Canadian dollars and Canadian rates and blah blah blah. So he was like, hey, how about I send you the two parts you don't hate uh, and something else for 55 bucks in shipping? And I was like, sure, man. So he also sent me a Blue Soundwave. I really like how everything comes in these Ziploc bags, too, because I have a lot of trouble carrying my lunch to work, and uh, this really helps me out a lot, Gary. The last part of this puzzle is basically something I would have paid 55 bucks for after taxes had I bought it at retail here in Canada, that being Human Alliance Sideswipe. And I kind of wanted this guy only because I've got two other Human Alliances, and I rather like the gimmick, and I like how the lines turned out, and even though I know Sideswipe isn't the best one, uh, to some, perhaps, he is, in fact, the worst one. I still kind of wanted him because I am a shameless completionary -nist like that. Moment of truth! Well, what do you know? Even though one is up and one is level, his eyes are still pointing forward. Both of them. So he doesn't have quite as many pupil problems as some of the other tiny eps have had. As for my eyes, they both look the same direction all the time, just off to the side, because I'm looking at the LCD monitor and not the camera itself. hoo So praise be to you, Gary Optimus Scourge. You have helped out a brother. I'm not sure how this whole leaving this lion here unshaven is turning out, but I do have a fog-free mirror in the shower so I can shave in the shower. And let me tell you, that is a transcendent experience if you've never done it, because I've always been, take a shower, go to the mirror, shave, and now it's like, take a shower while I'm in the shower, look in the mirror, and shave! It's incredible, man. Puberty. It's awesome. By the way, even though there's probably like maybe a day left because it ends on the 20th, please go check out Kal-El Prime's charity drive that I've been having on autoplay on my channel since he put up the video. Uh, I understand why you might be skeptical about a dude on YouTube collecting hundreds of dollars to give to a pair of charities, and you have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of if you are skeptical of such a situation. That said, he did successfully do it last year, and as far as I know, 
he didn't mysteriously suddenly own like a $500 transformer right after the charity thing was done. So Kal-El Prime is trustworthy, and if you want to give to charity, that is a trustworthy place in which to give to charity. It's still up to you whether or not you want to do it, but I can tell you that he is not trying to screw you over, and he's a lovable, lovable man who one day I will hold kind of like, uh, you know how those, those, those Italians, when they, when they make their pizza, they kind of need a, need the dough pretty hard. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do to you, Cal El Prime. And then I'm going to spread you out and cover you in pepperoni. It's going to be really nice. So a question for people who watch this, specifically for Transformers fans, would be this. What has surprised you over the last year, that being 2009? Toy-wise, show-wise, whatever. I'm going to go with toys because that's the easiest thing for me to think about. Uh, I have a couple things that surprised me. Uh, Human Alliance, for instance, something I thought was going to be throwaway, turned out to be a wonderful blend of playability play sets and good engineering. Also, the Revenge of the Fallen Scouts, who ended up being basically a little subline all to their own of quirky, characterful robot designs who really could make up a cast of a TV show all by themselves, and they're less than ten bucks a pop over in the States, so I gotta really congratulate them. They took everything I liked about the real Gears and took it up a level. Even the Doctor, even though he was in the movie, you know, I kind of forget he was in the movie because he fits in so well with all these other doofy dudes, like, the, you know, the the biplane and the motorcycle, and it's, it, it's really cool. But I think something that just took me by complete surprise in a way where I actually changed my mind three times for the same reasons would have to be Alternity. Because every single Alternity mode that came out, I went through this thought process. Meh, looks alright, but eh, I'm not gonna buy it, it's too expensive. Oh hey, it looks a bit better with colors, <laughs> uh, but, but no. And then, of course, ooh, in-hand pictures, and they're shot really nicely by a really good photographer. Ooh, that looks kind of... I'm going to go buy one now. <laughs> so three times I went from not wanting it, to thinking it looked cool and still not wanting it, to really wanting it, to buying it! Now, I've only bought one color of each mold, and technically I'm missing a mold because I only bought Cliff, and I didn't buy Bumble, even though I'm probably going to. But to me, they were just one of the many big surprises of 2009. Although, I really have trouble saying that they were more surprising to me than Human Alliance and the Scouts. The Scouts were kind of like the first thing, because I got a hold of the Scouts back in, like, January-ish. December, January, and that took me by surprise, because I thought, wow, they're the lowest price point toys for this movie tie-in, and one could collect the Scouts all by themselves and have a really cool cast of Transformers characters on their desk. And then Human Alliance! Who thought that the larger upscaled toys with little human drivers, and the whole point of the toy being the driver is kind of getting a playset of a robot to mingle with, who thought that would result in one of the best movie Bumblebee toys ever? And then of course, Alternity, money, 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 gone! So tell me all about what surprised you in 2009 as far as Transformers go. I chose toys, I could talk about more, but I'm gonna leave it at toys. There's a lot more to be said that's very obvious. But I'd like to hear from you, so leave a video response or a text comment or even a PM if you don't want anyone else to know about your answer. If it's something like, man, I found this wicked sweet Transformers porno and it changed my life! Actually, I think I still have that on my hard drive somewhere. So let me know. And I know it's kind of dumb how I'm doing this whole let's have a video response discussion thing. Oh, BTW, I have not participated in one for like months. But I always kind of feel sheepish about when I think to myself, oh hey, now I have the time to do the video, I should do it. And then I check out when the last one came out and it's like, no one has participated in that chain of discussion for two or three months. Even though it took me like over a month to just film this vlog. But regardless, tell me your thoughts. And I'll see you again sometime. I've got more reviews in the works. I've got, I believe, three more to finish off the HLJ box from August. And then I've got a special little week planned. Not sure if it'll be done before 2010, but it's happening after those reviews, and I think one demographic of geek who watches this will be hopefully just a little bit tickled. That's a nice word. Tickled. Okay, Chris, the things I'll do for you. Do you want one more take?